Hey, what's up everybody? John Spanky Stokes here with another video review. Today's a very special review and we're going to be reviewing a figure that hasn't been released yet but will be released in the coming days. So, it's large. To say the least, this thing is huge. And check out the packaging. This is a figure in this box. Bamboo box. What is it? Well, it's Benny the Dreamer. This is a figure by custom artist Okie Dokie. She teamed up with Vince of VTSS Toys, which he's been collecting toys and um, he's just been an avid you know lover of the art toy vinyl toy scene decided that he wanted to start his own company and this is their first figure that they produced together um, so as you can see this thing is awesome laser engraved box that says Benny the Dreamer has a nice um, almost silhouetted image of the figure. Some ornate flourishes up in the corner. It says VTSS for VTSS and it says VTSS uh, okie dokie. Um, then on the back there is the eyes of the figure um, and it has reverse lettering in it. I guess if you put it in a mirror it will say reflect on yourself become a dreamer and then it has all the you know information about okie dokie and uh, VTSS um, and then here's another cool part it's got a, a nice latch that keeps this thing closed and then a metal plaque I don't know if you guys can see that but the plaque says Benny the dreamer and it has a nice flourish and then it has my name inscribed on it um, these are going to come custom to the buyer pretty impressive so let's go and open this thing up when I first got this thing I was like are you kidding me this thing is huge and then I open it up and it's got nice foam and then it gives you yeah white whoops white cotton gloves to put on and it has <laughs> it has my name and then VTSS and you get a couple stickers a VTSS logo sticker and a Benny the Dreamer head sticker so this is what we're looking forward to so just so you know I tried putting the gloves on um, I have giant hands, so I think they'll fit on pretty much anybody else except for me. So they don't really fit. But it kind of enhances the experience of um, just how special this, this figure is. Um, so let's go and just peel this, this back and reveal the figure. So, like I said, Okie Dokie's been in the, the vinyl toy scene for quite some time. She's been customizing. She is immaculate at what she does. All of her customs look um, like production pieces. So it was kind of just a matter of time before she created something. Um, this figure itself is a, a polystone resin figure. Um, Okie Dokie sculpted the original figure herself, painted it, and then it was uh, produced um, in the factory and each one is actually hand painted in comes hand um, customized it has uh, a nice leather scarf I'll take this out of the out of the foam in just a second um, the box itself it's got to be 14 inches tall maybe a little bit bigger by I would say 10 inches wide because um, the figure itself stands 12 inches tall so let's go and take this thing out. It's nice, uh, packed in there pretty good. 
One way I found that it comes out pretty easy is, is if you grab onto the, the base of the skirt here and just kind of lift up and then the head kind of swivels up with it. It was, a, it was tricky to get it out, so let me use two hands here. So, here's the figure, Benny the Dreamer. It is very, very well produced. Um, it's heavy, like I said, it's polystone. Uh, I don't know if the body, I think the body's solid, but I know the head is, is roto. Maybe the body is roto too, just the thicker. Um, but it, it has, you know, some weight to it. Uh, nice big feet for it to stand on. Like I said, this nice um, leather scarf goes all the way around the neck. The face and the eyes um, painted on really nice. It's got sculpted hair. And then the, the bunny head up here has just a, a bunch of eyes. Kind of represents your inner child. Um, that's Benny. And then the the rabbit head um, kind of encompasses uh, enlightenment and uh, all the eyes help you see past your obstacles. So I guess as they work together as one um, so you can become enlightened and, and just push forward. Um, it's a really cool concept and um, I know that Okie dokie has really um, put a lot of work and effort into creating such uh, an amazing figure and Vince from VTSS Toys uh, really helped that vision come true. Um, one thing to note that you know this really isn't a, a vinyl toy per se it's more of a sculpture uh, and an art figure if you will. Um, you know if it wasn't apparent with just the box itself, I mean, just the amount of time and effort that went into creating the packaging, and it just, it just blew me away. Um, it just shows that you know they, they really want you to to love this, to, to display it, and to um, just you know have it as a an art piece in your in your house or in your collection, um, just just to be a standout. Um, from what I understand. Producing these costs about four times as much as doing a normal vinyl figure um, and Okie dokie had said that uh, Vince um, really took this figure under his wings and um, Flew over to China three times to, to check every single one of them um, To just make sure that the quality was spot-on and you can tell that the, the, the time and dedication that they put into this um, it shows. It's it's a it's a quality figure. Um, these are going to be up on let's see Wednesday was it April thirteenth uh, for presale. Um, probably at vtsstoys.com um, or you can check out okidoki.com. It's o k e d o k i dot com. I'll put the the links underneath here um, and keep in mind that there are only 200 of these produced uh, they're gonna retail for $280 a piece which is a steal in my opinion considering it comes with um, that really nice wooden engraved box your name just all the extras it really makes this a, a complete package it's such a cool figure and um, just the whole experience of of opening the package and the box and seeing the gloves and it's just it's a full complete package so I would definitely definitely um, recommend picking one of these up um, if not just because it's cool but to support Okie Doki because I don't know I feel like she's one of us you know a customizer and um, she kind of made her dream come true with producing her first figure and I know that a lot of people are, are happy for her. I know I am. Um, so it's just really cool. So congrats to, to Okie Dokie 
and uh, Vince for just creating a, a really cool figure. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, peace and hair grease.